Hey there, Fabian here back with another video. In this one I'm going to quickly show you an XSS vulnerability when allowing people to upload SVG image files and of course how you can fix it. So let's get right into it. I've built here a very very simple upload form where you can upload images and a gallery to display those uploaded images. This is nothing fancy and this is just for demonstration purposes only so I can showcase the problem and the fix. Now let me show you the problem. As you can see I have right here the bad SVG which contains the actual malicious code. I will go to my selector, select the SVG file which normally should be an image but in this case is the malicious code inside of the SVG. I will upload that and it automatically got added to my uploads folder. Right now you can see that nothing happens there is no exploit, nothing wrong, because this doesn't work for images that are displayed with the image HTML tag. It only works if you directly access this image. And as you can see, it contains the JavaScript and it automatically runs it, which is the actual problem. So let me explain. There are only two things that need to happen in order for this exploit to work, which is extremely common. First, the website must have an uploader that accepts SVG files that are not sanitized. Secondly, if the user can see the uploaded file somewhere in the site and get a hold of this link, just as you can see right here, I can click on the link and access the files, then your system is automatically at risk, because that link can be cloaked with an URL shortener and shared with your users from your website from which you can extract cookies from a victim that is using the same site as you. Now let's get right into how you can actually fix this. Let's assume that you still want to allow your users to upload SVG files, as this might be important for your users. In this case, you would simply need an SVG sanitizer. Luckily, someone already created this and we are going to import the following library in the project so it can help us with the cleaning process of the SVG. This is the PHP SVG sanitizer that we are going to use and of course you can download the code and import it directly or you can use Composer to require it in your project. I already went ahead and installed this library into the project as you can see right here in the Composer JSON file and I'm automatically loading this project via the vendor autoload generated from the Composer and right here you can see the code of the image gallery and of course I want to iterate the fact that this is just an example there is no proper processing right here just a quick script to demonstrate this problem and fix. Now let's start implementing the code to clean the SVG files when uploading them. Right here before we move the temporary file from the upload to the actual path which is the images folder we want to do the following thing if file extension is svg then i want to go ahead and initiate the svg sanitizer new enshrined sanitizer just like this and then dirty svg would be file get contents of the file temp the file temp is this one which is the uploaded file and then what we want to do is clean the actual svg with the svg sanitizer sanitize and then i pass in the dirty svg and now what we want to do is make sure to replace the old file with the new one which is the clean one and i'm going to do that by file put contents and right here I want to replace the file temp which is the old one with the clean SVG and this is basically it we can also go ahead and test this out right here close these tabs refresh and then we select the bad SVG again we upload it and then we try to access it and as you can see, the file is clean and no JavaScript is running, 
which is exactly what we wanted. Now let's go ahead and check out the files which have been uploaded. In this case, both of the bad SVG files. I will open them right here. This is the original file which contains the JavaScript exploit. And this is the clean one. As you can see, the library did its job and cleaned JavaScript contents from this file. So this is it. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, I will try to answer them in the comment section. Otherwise, I would highly appreciate if you could like the video. Thank you and have a great day. Bye bye.